Hello and welcome everybody. Um, yeah, sorry for the lag in videos, but uh, I've just been a little bit busy with trying to figure out a new rover design. Um, I've made probably about four or five rovers over the last couple days and just did not have any really good luck with any of it. Um, I guess I get a little rambunctious with my, you know, when I saw how well the first one was, I wanted to make another one, and I wanted to make one even better. Um, so, we'll zoom in on Rover 1, our everyone's favorite rover. Um, yeah, you can see, uh, I was trying to keep it a little bit of a secret, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess that just kind of spoiled it. Um, yeah, here's our little favorite rover who just got back from his trip to the moon arch. Uh, didn't find anything too great, you know. It's basically just, uh, you know, a worthless landmark in the middle of a desert. So, um, yeah. I... I overall, I, I will rate this rover as being pretty good for the first try. Uh, it just didn't meet all my expectations. Um, I, I was, like, amazingly happy when I first landed it, and I got to rove around for a while, and, you know, I, I took a little trip with it just to see how it would do over a long distance. And I, I'd have to say, overall, I haven't refueled it. I haven't touched it since last episode. And the episodes before that, and I actually did travel back and forth between the station. Um, you know, the distance might be like one and a half. So back and forth, and then add another half to that. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you look at that, I mean, that was a, that moon arch was over 20 kilometers away. And he got there and back in one piece. And uh, I didn't even have to refuel anything, and I barely used any fuel in the first place. So, with this design, I, you know, I was thinking about making a moon base, and it's still up in the air right now. I just gotta figure out, you know, a lot of the kinks of space travel of moving stuff from one, you know, from Kerbin all the way to the moon. Now, with this rover, um, his lifespan has reached, you know, and, and I, I really don't have any use for it anymore other than just driving this thing aimlessly around the moon. Um, there's really no utility involved with it. I, I mean, he, I guess if you wanted to, you could move RCS fuel with this, but, um, you know, with this one port here, that's the only way you could move fuel. Uh... You know, as far as putting the stuff inside here, um, that's another thing, too. Like, it works, but, um, you know, when it comes down to uh, actually trying to click on this, or like, I, I don't know if there's a way I can access it without clicking it. If someone let me know in the comments, that'd be great. But I can't actually, like, just click on this to transfer. You know, like, I'm clicking on it right now. It's not doing anything. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I might remake this rover and, you know, put a little bit more utility into it, change a few things here and there. I made the mistake on my latest creation. Now, this is the same lander as the rover one. The other lander is, um, I actually landed about 85 kilometers away from there here, and I'll just zoom out to show you. Um, it's going to say 27, and there's a reason for that. Now I'm zooming, yeah, here, where is it? Um, where's the old lander? Okay, yeah, here's the last lander for the old mission. Um, now, I, I needed the lander because I was basically going to bring it to the same site as Rover 1. And, uh, I was going to get rid of the old, the old station. Otherwise, I was thinking about moving it. And yes, I said moving it. Um, I landed somewhere around in this general region, and, uh, I was able to carry the rover, or carry the, uh, 
the uh, lander with the rover. I call it the station or the lander because basically you can redock with it, reuse it. But um, so, anyways, I carried that about 80 kilometers all the way up until this point, and I couldn't make it up the hill. It was just too heavy. The the rover just couldn't handle it. It just couldn't lift it. And I plan on bringing that over here. My main problem is is I'm really low on RCS fuel. Now you're saying I thought you wanted to build it without RCS. Yeah, I I do. But I'm not gonna get another rover back here just so I can um get uh, you know I'm not gonna get another rover here just so I can get some more RCS fuel on it or change change it so I can put three engines on it except for two or instead of two um, so with that I'll um, I'll be able to move that whole station over here or the you know that you know the port whatever you want to call it um, and then I'm gonna build a moon base here now, I will show you more of the new rover in the next episode. Uh, all I can say is, is this thing's amazing. Um, here, I'll undock it just to take it for a little ride. Now, um, this rover, it, it basically solves all the problems I had with the first one. Um, I, like I was talking about before, there was a little bit of rolling in concern with, you know, it, it just wasn't very stable when it came to roving, but, um, uh, I'm not even powering it right now, but, um, it, it's, it wasn't really incredibly stable when it came to roving, it wasn't you couldn't go too fast, otherwise, you know, you had a really big risk of, uh, you know, rolling it, or it would just topple, or if you hit a hill or something. Uh, I think that's just the general problem with anything roving on the moon, to be honest. Um, surprisingly, though, this guy, I got him up to about 40 meters a second on the moon, and that that's pretty insanely fast in... I, you know, it's like you couldn't even react to anything, and I did, I did use the uh, F5 feature a few times on this guy, because, um, yeah, I did it destroy a couple of them just roving around, and, you know, just testing out to see how fast it goes. In my next episode, I'll, uh, I'll do some fun stuff with it, just to show you, and I'll show you more of the features, and I am going to release another episode... Uh, on a, in a different playlist that's going to be specifically for design and um, it's going to be for con you know construction design and you know overall functionality and what you're looking for uh, what you're looking to do in a rover so on that note thanks for watching and um, I'll you know see you guys next time uh, subscribe thank you bye